hey welcome back I'm on the same page in previous video we added this uh, PayPal button and we used our own image so when the person will click now uh, the customer will click this button he or she will be taken to PayPal and after that they can pay uh, the exact amount for that product and after that they will be taken back to our website what uh, we need to do and what PayPal is going to do PayPal will take our information I mean the the amount of the product the name of the product and when the person pays PayPal will uh, will send that person back to our website so in that moment we need to get the information from PayPal for example the transaction ID the amount they have uh, received from the uh, I mean from the customer and also uh, some other things like uh, the currency amount and the transaction ID so we need to actually sp also specify that which customer is going to order this product so there are a lot of things to do uh, but this is the payment page where we have inserted the PayPal I mean the PayPal uh, form payment form so first of all we will simply change this email I told you in previous video this was a test email uh, I mean example email by PayPal so we will change it to our one which is business test at shop dot com business test at shop dot com I'm talking about this one which has five thousand dollars already that's it now in here we need to echo that variable which has the final price if you remember we created a function inside the functions uh, page for I mean for total price so we need this function basically leaving the function and we'll just copy the code inside the function till the end here control is to copy and we'll put this above the page here we will create a PHP start and PHP ending block after that I will just paste that function over here and a uh, curly bracket is also needed because while loop is running here now what we are doing basically uh, we are getting we are selecting uh, from cart where IP address is equal to that IP which we are getting so we need to also include the functions page here uh, no we need to see whether the functions in database is included inside the checkout page or not because this function page is basically inside the checkout.php page so let me check it here you can see customer underscore login dot php payment dot php in case the person is logged in so the payment of dot php will uh, appear and if the person is not login then customer underscore login will include it uh, into this page functions uh, page is here that's okay and actually we need to include the database page we use include command and inside includes folder we have db.php which has the database connection so because we are dealing with the database so now we are saying that select from card where IP address is, is equal to this one and uh, then we say I mean MySQL query etc and that in this and we have got the product ID from the table cart and after that we again went to the products folder I mean now we are selecting from the pro products where product ID is equal to this one which is the specific one coming in the loop and after that we have just go to the payment price uh, here and then we have got we, we are again running another loop uh, where we have got all the products and we are saving that in, a, in an array and then we have array sum I mean we have sum we have calculated all those and the final price is here inside the total variable that's it and the total variables we started from zero and now whatever payment is there that will be added to this one anyways we 
will only add one more we will only uh, create one more variable product underscore name which will be equal to dollar underscore pp price and we will get product underscore title from or uh, table of products I'm talking about this table products inside the e-commerce database so we will just uh, take the product titles so we can give it to the PayPal and all is to save we have taken this but we also need uh, the customer information so we need to know that who is actually ordering uh, but uh, that we will do actually in a later part in a, another page I mean when we will be getting uh, the payment from PayPal you know the return page we'll do that there but for now that this is fine okay so we have final price or uh, or here saved in the local variable product underscore uh, price no sorry in this one total price and the product name is this one product underscore name so simply what we need to do is to come here and in here in the value of item name we will simply use PHP and will echo that product title product title variable product name variable sorry that's it and in the next one that is value of amount by default five dollars or something we'll change this and we'll also make it dynamic echo it will have it is total control has to save and the currency code is US dollar that's okay we are selling our products in US dollars that's okay fine no control has to save and if we come here and replace this page so there is an error payments the payment at PHP in line 6 line 61 we have uh, an error oh sorry we need to add one more scarly brackets because we are running two while loops over here you can see one while loop is this one and second is this one and this is the opening scarly bracket of this while loop and this is the opening scarly bracket of this while loop so we need to actually close both of, the, both of them now that's done come here refresh the page and you can see now uh, when we click this uh, button so it will take us to PayPal but actually this button will not take our values or parameters I mean this uh, this uh, title name product name and the price of the product why because this is localhost we are on localhost you can see over here we are on localhost so we need to actually upload this whole product to online web server so after that we can say uh, we can actually process the payments this is very necessary because PayPal is online that is a live website online and our project is on uh, localhost so how can we communicate with the PayPal there on online server PayPal will actually take the values from our online web server we will pass the values to PayPal PayPal will uh, charge the customer and after that will return the page to any other we any page uh, page we want so that's it now uh, sorry uh, I need to uh, also specify the two another uh, URLs I mean I will just specify it here one input feed I will create which is by default by PayPal but we did not take that which is uh, uh, its name is type is hidden its name is uh, return return mean where the person should return so its value will be uh, it, we, it will be value will be equal to http www dot uh, online tuting dot com backslash my shop my shop will be the folder inside our website www dot online tuting dot com uh, where I am going to upload this uh, project in next video in next lecture I, we will upload this whole project to our website online website 
so then we can check uh, or test the PayPal payments in a real environment my shop will be the folder for this I mean this whole project that we I mean this whole project we will upload to online server there we will have uh, my shop as a directory or folder inside that we will have a page paypal underscore success dot php we will create this page also in next video we will create this page and also uh, one more input so type will be hidden name will be is equal to cancel underscore return this is basically this these two names are from paypal because paypal actually use these names for their website and development cancel return mean if the person clicks cancel during the payment uh, the person decides to not pay or not uh, do not buy this project uh, product then he or she can click the cancel button so in that case we will just return the person to a cancel url I mean http www.onlinetutoring.com my shop backslash paypal underscore cancel dot php this page we will also create that's it we have added them as well now uh, next we will just create this paypal underscore success dot php and paypal underscore cancel dot php and after that we will just upload this project to online web server stay tuned